should be planted in your heel. All right, so when it is planted in your heel like that, this is the move that I want you to do. This will be harder for some of us because a lot of us like to play on our toes, which takes away the rotation or the ability to stay in your posture. Hey, welcome back to Danford Golf. Today we're gonna to talk about uh, the sway of the hips, the reverse spine tilt, reverse axis tilt. All right, there's a bunch of different names for it because it's extremely common in golf. It's one of the biggest errors that we come across in the golf swing. Uh, so we're gonna concentrate basically on your knees on down, on how you shift your pressure, how you shift your weight, uh, to help you fix that reverse spine tilt move that you have going on. Uh, make sure you subscribe, uh, give us a thumbs up, and hit that little bell button right after you subscribe and you'll see all our future videos and leave any comments down below. When in, we break down the golf swing to make it as simple as possible, there's two basic spine angles that I always look for and that's gonna help you become the best golfer you can become is if you can maintain these spine angles. So we got a secondary spine angle from face on, all right? As you swing in your golf swing, we like to see you maintain that spine angle, all right? We don't like to see it bounce back and forth. And then we got a primary spine angle, which is down, down the line, is you just wanna maintain that as you turn back and you turn through. If you can maintain those two spine angles, then you're gonna be on your way to really playing good golf. However, we tend to see a big struggle, and that is with the reverse tilt or how we move our weight, okay? So if you don't know what a reverse tilt is, it is those folks who get to the top, they might start this way, and they get to the top and their spine angle kicks forward or towards the target or kicks basically the wrong direction. It doesn't maintain that tilt. So that is a reverse spine angle, all right? It's really bad on your back. And the big fault that comes across with this is you can actually hit a really good shot, like one out of three, unfortunately, okay? Is because you're gonna sway this way, and then most will either come over the top of it, right? Or every once in a while, you'll see a golfer who's actually able to really slide their hips the opposite way and drop it in more shallow, okay? But the problem is, is it's really hard to time, and it's really hard on your back, okay? So the first thing is, is we want to get rid of that. So I've talked about different ways on how to fix this in the past. One of my favorite feelings is if you get into your posture and you take your left arm and you punch across your chest, all right, you can see how your hips want to turn. Okay, if you put that club on your right thigh and you push across, you can see that the right thigh doesn't kick or move anyway. Okay, one thing that you can do is that if you're hitting golf balls, you can just put a club on top of that right thigh, right, and just take swings, and if, look, if it's gonna fall off, then we've got something kind of weird going on there, all right? But one of the feelings that really helps a lot of the people that I coach, and I actually just came up with this uh, a few lessons ago, because I always learn stuff as I give more lessons, is I wanted them to concentrate on their right big toe. So, with the right big toe, I have players who tend to, it looks like the knee kicks out, and the right leg, you can almost slide something underneath their back foot. Because I know they're swaying, and I know their body's going to start to try to stay on balance, it'll kick the opposite way. All right, so what I tell them is I want them to put, as they swing to their top swing, I want them to push as hard as they can into their right toe. And when they do that, that foot stays flat, the hips start to move correctly, and the weight starts to go into the heel. Because in golf, or basically everything in life, especially when it comes to how you move your pressure, if you push one way, something goes the opposite way, right? You're not gonna see somebody do this drill by putting weight onto their toe by going like that. That's counteractive, it, that doesn't feel right, you can't do it that way. So by them putting pressure on the right big toe, they're gonna wind their hips correctly, and they're not going to sway their hips, okay? So if you're somebody who sways or really struggles with reverse spine tilt, the first thing I want you to do is think about that right big toe. I want you to really push hard into it, all right, as you swing into your backswing, all right? Your hips will start to coil correctly, which is basically across your body, all right? And you won't have any more sway, and you'll be really good to go, all right? So that's, we'll take care of the lower part. Now, if you find that you're still having that reverse spine tilt with that right big toe move, all right, then I want you to create a little bit more axis tilt when you start off, all right, and then when you get to the top of the backswing, 
This is kind of a different video, but I want you to think about your head moving to the right a little bit or your left shoulder moving to the inside of the right foot. So as you take it to the top, we want to get it there so we maintain that spine angle, right? If you, most people who have the reverse spine tilt with this move is they're trying to keep their head so still that they start to go forward and you can see more flex comes into that lead leg, right? So make sure that push into that right toe and let's try to maintain that secondary spine angle. If you do that, you're good to go. All right, now we're gonna talk about the primary spine angle. So our primary spine angle with that move, all right, with the reverse spine tilt, what tends to happen is we get to the top, we got a little bit of sway, all right, and then on the way down in our attempt to shallow the club, because we know a shallow position we're gonna hit the ball better, is we tend to stand up, okay? Our body stands up, the club will shallow, but then it's all hands, it's very tough to time. So to make sure, let's say in this instance, you have no, you fixed your reverse spine tilt and you're doing really good maintaining your secondary spine. So now with the primary spine, okay, if you've been pushing into that right big toe, all right, when you take it to the top, that weight should be planted in your heel. All right, so when it is planted in your heel like that, this is the move that I want you to do. This will be harder for some of us because a lot of us like to play on our toes, which takes away the rotation or the ability to stay in your posture. All right, so if you take it to the top, weight's in that right heel, I want you to feel like now you're gonna push off the inside of the right heel. You're gonna push towards the target on the inside of the right heel, okay? And then, that move, if you do that right, it should help you stay in your spine because most of us, we get to our reverse spine tilt, weight gets outside, gets onto our toes, and then on the way down, we really get to our toe quickly. And then our body stands up because it's all about trying to maintain balance for us. So I want you to get it to the top. I want you to push off of that right heel. Feel like your butt kind of stays against the wall back here. All right, and then you're gonna see how much more room you really have. All right, the leg structure, what it should kind of look like is when you get to the top and on the way down, you should see my legs are still kind of far apart from one another. They're not collapsed, kind of weird like that. So get to that right heel, push it towards the target, all right? And you're gonna create a lot more width and a lot more basically positions for your hands to have more speed. It's hard to have speed up here, all right? But if you stay back with it and maintain your speed primary spine angle, right? you have lots more room for your hands, you can create more speed, the face will be more stable, life will be greater, okay? So let's fix that reverse spine tilt by what you do with your, basically your body and with that right big toe where you put your pressure, all right? If you get that down, you're golden. And then primary spine angle from here, let's try to maintain it by just, again, how we shift our pressure, keep it into the heel, right? You cannot keep it into the heel and go like this, all right? Big, whenever the hips go forward, usually everything is going that way. So if you keep that weight more towards your butt or more towards your heel, you're gonna maintain that primary spine angle much better. You maintain one and two spine angles, have some sort of idea of what the face is doing, and you can play really good golf. So fix that reverse spine tilt make life a whole lot easier. Thanks for watching.